what is going on a1 gang we are back today with another video today we got a 2019 mustang gt premium i do have the hood popped man this thing is an absolute beast i got the hood popped because i was taking some pictures for the gram if you don't follow me on the gram make sure you do follow me on the gram and snapchat that's where you can see all of my footage before i even you know do anything so make sure you follow that snapchat and instagram and facebook and twitter if that's what you're using too but man this thing is an absolute beast man got the gt big gt badge you know when people got a gt and when they don't because right here it's just a little pony right here it's not a gt it's just a little the little pony but this right here lets you know that you got that big v8 putting out that 460 horsepower look at that man very beautiful car I love the design of this. <clears throat> Got the 5.0 badge right there. When I when I compare the three muscle cars, the big three, the 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 Challenger, the Camaro, and the Mustang, I don't even put the Challenger in that category just because the Challenger to me is a car of its own, just because of the space that it brings and the power. As far as even you know, it's got its Hellcat version and everything but the challenger it's just so much bigger like you'll see what i mean in a minute as far as backseat and usable space the the camaro and the mustang is just it's just a small vehicle overall um i'm gonna take y'all into the sticker price and everything once we get in because the sticker is actually not up on the door but uh <laughs> this is this is one thing i dislike already about this car is for the price of this car you don't have shocks you have a propping rod <laughs> for what odd reason i don't know but you got the big v8 right there 460 horsepower and it's matched up to a 10 speed automatic transmission bam just like that let's go ahead and start this beast up it does have automatic start automatic remote start let's say that i'm gonna go ahead and lock it and then push that twice probably not gonna it did it for me when we was over there in the other spot i guess because the hood is up i'm gonna go ahead and put, close the hood real quick because uh y'all gotta get this this start up man so bear with me again while i lower the hood and then i'll let y'all i open the hood up again anyway so all right so the hood is closed Let's try this again, man, because this thing sounds monstrous once it starts up. I just stay right here and start it up. Like you see how beautiful that sounds. That's a cold star by the way too. <laughs> beautiful. I would definitely buy one of these for sure. Look at that man. It's just I just like how sleek it looks. Like it's just something about these new mustangs man the sleekness of them i was gonna do this blue one that's over there as you can see in the back right there that blue one i was gonna do that one but uh that one is the stick and i haven't i'm not saying i don't know how to drive a stick it's just been like four or five years since i've driven a stick and that's not my car so i'm not gonna get in and then try to figure out how to do all of that and the car that's not mine so i just left it alone i mean i could probably i mean i get it into the first gear and all of that but i didn't i didn't want to risk all of that it's not my car like i said so i just went ahead and got the automatic for y'all but i'm gonna give y'all a little exhaust roar like i said it's still cold so
that's a stock exhaust right there so just imagine even if you change the exhaust and everything man that thing is a beast beautiful sounding car but uh man <laughs> let's go ahead and pop the hood again real quick <laughs> All I can say and get in this inside real quick so right here on the door right here you got the soft padded material right here you got the leather stitched padded right here as well plastic down there you got the aluminum accent memory seats door and lock buttons very nice power mirrors that fold in too no they're not power but <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were but uh, you do got the blind spot detection right there, too And you also got the sensors on the door So if you got the key fob in your pocket, you just hit the button tap it unlocks it bam just like that Let's go ahead and get in this beast man Mustang right here on the door seal you got the ice all on it Let's go ahead and get in here man Ford ain't come to play with y'all on this one at all <laughs> Nice solid thump the window slides up a little bit too fuel level is a little bit low i put it in sport plus mode so y'all can hear that thing you know what i'm saying got heated and cool seats in here as well as you can see right there had to put on the gloves man it's getting kind of getting kind of frosty out there man i know it ain't no two nothing <laughs> it's uh the clock is wrong i thought it was 214 man i was gonna say man i'm so far behind today but um yeah man all digital uh gauges right here nothing is analog on here Look at that, man. Beautiful. Let's get this message up off this screen so y'all can see. So it tells you everything. Your inlet air, cylinder head, temperature, air vacuum, air air fuel ratio, your vacuum, your voltage. Man, it just tells you everything. It's the ultimate track vehicle or drag strip, whatever you want to call it. Your latitude, your G-forces, all of that good stuff. I don't know anything about that because I've never been to a track or anything like that I would love to go I would love to build a car and eventually go out there you know see what I can do I think that'd be fun but uh you got paddle shifters right here oh let me let me get what y'all came here for man while we talking we just gonna hop right into a $47,930 for this out the door now the base price of this vehicle was $39,000 355 dollars so as you can see your equipment right there all of that good stuff let y'all take a look at that for a second while i throw out you got the push button start you got the limited slip rear axle you got the track apps universal garage opener you got the ford connect for the wi-fi you got the blind spot with the cross traffic alert got the floor mats with the stitching and all of that good stuff the premier trim man this car this car has everything man it's it's missing just the sunroof if they come with the sunroof I, I don't think I've ever seen a Mustang with the sunroof now that I think about it not none of these newer gens I don't know could be wrong probably did see one but I, I, I know I don't see them all the time either it's not a car that I look for on the streets all the time but um you getting 16 in the city 25 on the highway 19 miles per gallon combined now to think about it let's see do we got Apple CarPlay in here or Android Auto uh don't say but you got ambient lighting so ambient lighting you got dual climate control dual vanity mirrors I'm not even gonna try to sit in that back seat for y'all but there's the vanity mirror vanity mirror over there passenger airbag you can turn it off right there you got the ford logo on the windshield out there you got the air vents right here you got the bang of oaths and sound system up here come on man ford ain't come to play with y'all at all man steering wheel is nice and tight also you can change the feeling of this steering wheel right here with this little toggle switch you got a steering wheel on there so you just flip this and you got the sport steering then you got the comfort and then you have normal so normal is it's a lot looser it's not loose but it's just, you know, it's not as tight. Then when you put it, oh, that's a normal. Okay, so it's not, it was already a normal. It just shows it again. Okay, there we go. So now you got it in the sport. It stiffens up just a little bit. It stiffens up. 
and then you have comfort now it's, it's like loose like you know there you have it then you got your different modes so right now we got it in sport plus you got track mode that's what i should have put in here i didn't know i had a track mode but you got the track mode you got the drag strip mode <laughs> come on for it why do you have to kill them like this man drag strip mode and you got the snow and wet changes the gauges how they look man i'm loving this mustang then you have the snow mode i mean that's no normal mode i have to review a mustang i'm not a mustang a camaro next man I, I did the challenger before i did the mustang this is actually the second mustang i did i'm actually in the end of this video if y'all haven't saw that scat pack challenger that i did I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that as a link at the end of this video so go ahead and check that out too my favorite out of the three is definitely by far the challenger but between a mustang and a camaro man it would just have to come down to a drive to see and the features and everything as well too but right here easy to use touch screen right here it is at its home it's got the maps showing up right there they look nice updated you got your climate dual climate you got your different apps right there you got your bluetooth the sync connect you got your sound general display automatic updates your vehicle valet mode general also you got a heated steering wheel too in here i forgot to mention that too i saw the little icon up there and thought about it but yeah you got a heated steering wheel in here too you got your hazards you got your traction down here stop button engine start you know that's how you start it up usb with the 12 volt over there to the side close that up ah there we go nice soft touch materials everywhere in here stitching cup holders very nice let's check out that reverse camera nice and crisp we show you where uh, you know objects will be at very nice vehicle man you <laughs> for it came to show out with this one very nice let's go ahead and open that up so you got the usb 12 volt little storage back seat not too much of a back seat as you can see my seat is at a comfortable driving position and you got that much space so i'm not even gonna try to get back there so there you have it mustang up there glove box right here we're gonna actually sit this window sticker back in there too and uh where's the trunk release to open up the trunk uh, there we go it's right up underneath there all right let's take a look at the trunk real quick y'all and then we're gonna get up out of here actually actually let's turn it off real quick go ahead and turn that thing off like that very nice uh vehicle man bam look at that nice spacious trunk got the subwoofer over there spare tire underneath there floor mats all of that good stuff man it's a nice amount of room in there too and the seats actually lay down too so you can add more storage space in there too reverse camera right there come on man this is a gorgeous car beautiful ford didn't come to play on this one at all but um just like that man this video is over i'm gonna see y'all in the next thank you for watching i'm gone